Roll a night on the town wouldn't do us any harm. Roll a night on the town wouldn't do us any harm. Roll a night on the town wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hang on behind. And we'll roll the old. We'll roll the old. We'll roll the old. And we'll all hang on behind. Oh, no. Definitely was not out with what I was thinking at all. It's the next episode. Turn up a little bit. The blue one. No, 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 nope. no, no, no. That little dial that's kind of in the middle. Nope. No, no, the one. Yep. The Pirate Radio Podcast. The next episode. Blaze the weed up. <laughs> Top dog. Burn them all. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is you up? Can just go hey y'all. Down with it. Okay. Oh, we're back on the fucking pirate radio. I feel like my mic is hot. Pretty loud. Yeah. I, I had Maybe mine. I had mine pretty loud. You're you're number four. I oh, know you're number one. He's number like those dials. No, no. No, the Wait. the top right. The top right. That's you right there, Swag. You're number. You're the closest one. Check check. check. Oh, that testing. was testing. one two. Yeah, so you're one on four. Cool. That's He's two. I'm good. Three. What I'm is this? Win. Amateur hour? Check, check, check. Act like we hadn't done this before. Check, check, check. It's been a while, but we've been a minute. Shit, my headphones are sound, way too loud. Sounds it's been so way good. too Yeah, I think it's the headphones too. Well, probably. We, we were listening to music. <laughs> yeah, so, we were right. jamming out. Bro, we were going in just now. Well, sorry. <laughs> in the conversation bit. So she probably had them up pretty loud. Hell yeah. Or Bradley sat right there. Bradley can't hear. No, I can't see. No, I like jamming out. Bradley's deaf and blind. So. Happy birthday, Bradley. You guys be nice. We love you. <laughs> you guys be nice to Bradley. He's, he's, he's deaf in mind. I mean, you he's, ain't wrong, to be honest. Dude. <laughs> so you completed another rotation? Another, yep. rotation. another rotation, baby. Let's cheers years. it up, man. I told someone today. Uh, live. Cheers it up. Salud. Feliz cumpleaños. I tell someone today, you know you're getting older when... Uh, on your birthday for your lunch break, you go home and for lunch and eat leftover manwich. There you go. Twenty nine. Tell you, hey, bro. Chris but you know 41. what? I'm enjoying it. <laughs> but you know what? Brad, you know what? I'm thirty seven. I'm enjoying it. I'm glad where I'm at. Uh, I've come a long way where I'm at. I ain't there yet, but now I'm you're just trying to going, baby. I'm trying. Bro, shout out to Mr. Garcia. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, man. But, I'm excited for you. But I, got, I gotta get prepared for thirty. Are you That's gonna be my goal. Uh, are you gonna be gay and like decorate your room with Halloween shit? <laughs> no, I don't think. I think I'll probably do a Christmas tree for Christmas, but other than that, no. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. It'd be cool if you did it. We yeah. were looking at decorations earlier. No, nah. so dumb. So I mean, I love horror <laughs> stuff, but I don't. Growing up, we we only had like three ceramic pumpkins yeah. that we put out, but that was it. We do did. You think, never been do you think you get in trouble if you hung up movie posters from Halloween? Could you do that? I mean, I already have like I already oh. have a Halloween poster up. Oh, like, do you really? No, nice. like the school movie. Didn't give you any crap about it? No, no. Oh, you're talking about dude. The odds school. are, are they talking about? Yeah, yeah. There's a shortage of teachers, uh-huh. and these kids listen to NBA Young Boy. Like, <laughs> dude, so many kids, <laughs> bro. So many, so many kids. Good. It's NBA Young Boy or Michael Jackson. Exactly. <laughs> really? Yeah. There's no in between. <laughs> no. <laughs> and, and that dirty dick motherfucker talks about crazy shit. Yeah. So uh, fuck. Bro, it's a it's a wild boy place, but. That's what I thought you were talking about. I didn't think you were talking about that. His actual room. I thought you were talking yeah. about his room, like his classroom. <laughs> yeah. No, I was talking about his classroom. Oh, you were yeah, talking about Yeah, he was. Oh, I, I thought he was talking about my room. No, I, was I was like, oh, I already yeah, have yeah, a... No, no, that's what yeah, I said. Yeah. Are you going to be gay and decorate your room, your classroom? I'm trying to think. Like, I have... <laughs> Like I have, are you gonna do nine eleven? Hey, you should you you know what you should do is you what? should teach the kids the truth about nine eleven. Hell no, you should do. I cannot do that. <laughs> teach them about Tower Seven. The real nine eleven. No. no, Paul McCartney's death. Nine eleven. That's the real nine eleven. I guess so. Bradley, it's up to you to educate the children. I you're mean, the, you're in the vanguard. I mean, it? there's been a few moments where I I felt like I had to get real with them about you know just being serious. Yeah. About things like like you know. You, gotta get in there. you don't have much time but before you know it, you're in high school and before you know it boom you're in the real world and cool. after that you're on your own yeah. like I, I feel like i had to get real with some kids because there's there's kids that i mean they're they're young i can't blame them for that but 
it's up to us to try to lead them the right direction. We can't be soft Press on the kids. Button. It's at the top right. We can't be soft on kids. On the screen, like on the we still got to be real yeah. with them. And like I was just telling them, just certain. Like I even talked to one of my classes about TJ. I just said, like, look. I, I even told him there is. You no- gotta keep that. You gotta turn that. Sorry, Bradley. Chris right. is gonna. Sound- I'm trying to turn down the, the headphones, bro. They blow my ears out. Right yeah, that's that knob right there to the very right. This one? Yeah, it's that one. No, 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 that one. How's that? that Sorry, bro. No, you're good. killing me. All right, go for it. No, but anyways, is it, is it good now? Yes. Like okay. I, I even brought up uh, TJ. I was just saying, I told them, I quoted Apollo Creed saying, there is no tomorrow. I always appreciate where you're at and enjoyed these years because, you know, I feel like Billy Madison saying, stay here as long as you can. <laughs> um, but I was just telling them, like, look, y'all, like, like I, y'all the first ones I told, but, like, I had a best friend. When I was going here, I had a best friend that passed away, and it really messed with me, but I got through it, and I did better for myself. But I was just like, look, y'all. You never know what's gonna happen, Bro, and I was TJ. and I was like, "Look at the person next to you. Imagine that person, but just gone. You, they're there one day, and then they're gone the next day. You never is that, know." Is that how old you were when it was happening? <clears throat> I was in eighth grade, so yeah. I was like thirteen. What's up? Yeah, you were in eighth grade. I was in eighth grade. That's, yeah. your, that's your cousin. Yeah, yeah. What what uh, what grade do you teach? Can you tell us? You can uh, tell us? I teach six through eighth, so I teach. Okay, grade, cool. So you're grades. right in that age. Yeah. Age. Is that, so you see it. is that where your son goes to school? Uh, he goes, uh, what do you teach him? That's where he goes. Your son? Okay. I don't no, think I'm no, 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 no. Does he? No. No, he goes Don't, to don't say it. Don't, oh, okay. Don't say it. Yeah, yeah. Can, no. <laughs> I was like, I don't think I've met your son yet. Yeah, no, no. no bleep it out. I, I, I will. But yeah. <laughs> cool. Anyways, yes. But that's crazy. So you're in that age range when it, like, it happened to you, and it was, it was definitely a traumatic event for you. Yeah, because I, could, life got I couldn't really understand it. And then the way he passed away, it right. it really bugged me. Dude. The way it was he terrible, went. terrible, bro. He had an aneurysm, bro. Yeah, like oh, just yeah, out yeah. of nowhere. It just happened. Yeah, no, it was, it was crazy. I didn't even know that was a thing until that happened to him, bro. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. And so, yeah, it was so <clears> crazy, <throat> for sure. Absolutely. But that's why you have to celebrate life. Yeah. 49 re- revolutions around the sun. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's, yeah, a, it's a blessing, bro. Yeah, Every time. Weird. That's why that's why I told you in the conversation. I'm I would celebrate it anywhere. I can't I can't say the saying right now. There's nowhere else I would rather be than being here celebrating my birthday with y'all guys because I feel like <laughs> No, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm talking about like a few years ago <laughs> when I feel like I had I had no direction. Like, yeah. I feel like I found y'all, and y'all have helped me yeah, man. escalate to things that, yeah, man, but I, yeah. you know, no yeah. one was what telling is, me. What is that, guy, baby, what is that Marcus oh, yeah. Aurelius quote, uh, quote? I don't know if it's him. It's, he who has a why can o- overcome almost all house or some shit. Like, you know what I'm uh, talking about, bro? Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know who said that, but. Is that what it is? He who so. has a why can yeah. overcome anyhow. Yeah. Almost yeah. anyhow. Yeah. So, there you go. It wasn't him that said that. It wasn't. No, it wasn't him. But it, it's a good saying. Marcus yeah. Aurelius. <coughs> Dude, fucking Pittman always quoting that motherfucker. Yeah. I think I'm gonna become a stoic. So at jujitsu, do they get real with y'all too? Uh, like about when we when we warm up, they do like a motivational talk, and he's all about like, like say what you will. We uh, we actually did a pirate radio <laughs> last week. Me and Swag, we talked a lot about him. Nice. Uh-huh. And say what you want about him, but. It's almost like, I think it's like your position. It's like you're going to get what you want out of it. So some of that shit sounds corny as fuck, but it's, like, it's true. It's like a lot of self, it's all on you yeah. kind of shit. Like you, what you put out, what you're you know, is what you're going to receive. So if you're going to not put in the work, you're going to fucking suck. Yeah. So if you want to look within and just apply that to life, like I don't want to go to jujitsu sometimes, but you got to go type shit or work, anything. If any of this shit, mm-hmm. not to get on that soapbox, because I want to have fun tonight. I ain't trying to get <laughs> not political tonight. But, yeah. <laughs> how, how to be honest? Shout out to, to get political. Shout that out was to a Donald political. Trump. That was political. You're just saying though, you got to overcome. Yeah, I, you were talking about. Work, it's a lot of work. I, I even quoted uh, Doc Brown. I said, I don't know if y'all seen it, but Back to the Future. There's a character called Doc Brown. He has the greatest quote I think that anyone's ever said. You're only given one future, so make it a good one. Yeah. 
As far as we know it. Roy yeah. joined the jujitsu cult. Amen. I'm brother. a part of it now, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, the the alt right training grounds at the gym. That's what they call it now these days. So, so how I long think, how long has it been? Four weeks. I've done fifteen classes. I think. No. Nice. I think after his first week, he threw like a hook. So, you think you're Gracie now or what? <laughs> Dude, I felt bad because we got drunk with this guy who didn't have a left eye, and I was like, "Can you see?" Me? <laughs> 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 Damn. Oh man! Oh, they do. Uh, Who doesn't have a left eye? It's uh, he went to your pop up. Was he there with uh, Joseph Freeman? Okay, yeah. yeah oh, you, we started getting drunk. You do it with him. him? We started getting drunk, and I was like, "Hey, uh, we're bros, right?" He's like, "Yeah." I was like, "Can you see this?" And I started going <laughs> like this to him. You know, oh my <laughs> god, <laughs> we're at the bar. Yeah, was I there? Hey. Yeah, so that we, we're, bros. we were. Okay, at, we were I, at the Forbidden Spot over okay. there. Okay, all right. The Forbidden. Spot. I don't want to talk about it because it's a new place where we go get drunk. Nice. It's chill, cheap beer. Yeah, good music. Nice. Do they have food? Can you can you tell yeah. us about it's it? Afterwards, <laughs> it's. <laughs> said it. Oh wow! Dude, I don't I can't believe go it. There. Well, they well, close off an area well, for the bar. Yeah. yeah. Why it's, can't you go there? What'd you do? Don't worry about it. You being a pussy hound. No, he's bad. So it's. He's but bad. the bar inside is called. Yeah. Believe it. That's actually really cool. I give you. Have you been to one outside of Lubbock? <laughs> yeah. Was it designed the exact same way? I went Not to one, exactly. I went the to the one in Phoenix, and it was the exact same layout, and it threw mm. me off for some reason. Hmm. I did not like it. Oh, like know. when it, it feels like you're in a different place. I was like, I'm like back it, in Lubbock. Yeah. yeah, I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? This is weird. Because all the all the shops it, are the same. It, it was exact the layout. The it was yeah. like, what the fuck? It's lame. Yeah, it I is like kind of lame, brother. I like individuality. You gotta have some individuality. You know what really Show throws to the city? You know what really throws me off. Um, Growing oh. up, we went to the United on um, Marsha Sharp, mm-hmm. where it used to be the one right next to Coronado. Brownfield? Yeah. Oh, it's still yeah, right there, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, the building's there, but it's not it's United not anymore. anymore. Yeah, it's something else. Uh, but I remember going there as a kid, and I remember the way the layout is. But if you go to the United on 4th and Slide, it's that same layout. Really? And it really feels like I walked back into time. The one by his house? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, throw, it throws it me off. It is kind of an old school one. Dude. Yeah, it throws me off. Right. Yeah, it does throw me off too. And I'm <laughs> like, what the fuck? I have to give a shout out to my enemy. Shout out to the Dave's Hot Chicken on TCU's campus. It was pretty like sweet. The like you know we we're talking about individual. Oh, yeah. It was, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. But I fucking hate that fucking school. But it was pretty the sweet. school. Well, we were in that area. TC who? And we went to Dave's Hot Chicken, and uh, it's like it's like our downtown. Like you're you know, in Fort Worth. Yeah, we were in Fort Worth. So you know how like yeah, all the yeah. restaurants are right yeah. across from Tech? Yeah, yeah. It was like that, but... It's a small there, campus, huh? It's very, it's very small. Interesting. Private school. It'd be a good place to film a horror movie. Yeah? Real old school. Yeah. Dude, I have a place in mind. Turkey, Texas. If you've never been... It is scary up there. Them dirt, like the, the dirt roads out there. there. Like the downtown area feels like post, like houses the strip. But there's this, like one lane on each side. Like yeah. that's it. Like it's pretty small. Like the, no, I take that back. There's parking, but it's still like very narrow. And uh, the turkey like hotel. the whole town shuts down probably like around six. Like all of the shops are closed, right? Like nobody's open, and so it looks like a freaking ghost town. And they have a yeah. old school you know I mean? uh, so ups too. Yes, they do yeah. have old school ups. So it'd be sexy for like to shoot something there. I've always wanted to shoot something there. They got an old gas station pump. Yeah, the Phillips sixty six. Does it work? I don't know. I don't think it works. I think it's just there. There's yeah, a, it's a it's sexy. There's a there's it's a road. A sexy town there's a road. There's a road that you take down there. Where's this near? You, what town is this near? Turkey, you, Texas. So it's like north an hour and a half uh, northeast. It's like going to Matador. You know where oh, Matador yes, is? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Matador, they do, they Matador do, is kind of trippy Enduro too. Racing out there. Yeah. There's a lot of interesting towns around, like just around like they have towns. Uh, <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know if it was part of like a movie theater, yeah, like an outdoor movie theater, but it's like an American flag. But That's because right. it's been run I'm down good, and stuff one. like that, it <clears throat> looks dope AF, bro. It looks so clean. I would love to do a photo shoot out there. It would be so sick, bro. Did you ever go to the movies in, in post? No, I've always wanted to. I watched Transformers there because they reopened I've it. I've never even been in the doors. It's cool. They reopened it for a little bit. Mm-hmm. We watched Transformers in there. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. fucking cool. To like if they ever like I went to the one in Brownfield. Sell that, sell that building they have a theater over there. The I remember feeling like drive ins were really cool when they I was a kid. Cool, Shout good. out to what's that place called here? Stars and Stripes. 
They've been open 20 years? I've never been to the drive-in. Damn. What? Never. You're making me want to go. My father-in-law was telling me when he was a kid, Done some things at the I drive-in, think. you'd be watching a movie, a kid movie, and you'd turn around and look on the other screen and be a porno. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, sometimes my... Funny. My, uh, <laughs> it's a weird segue, but sometimes my mom and my sister, they would want to go watch movies at the drive-in, right? Pornos? No, 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 no. Oh. This was at the time when there <laughs> was, like, a good a Christian women. Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know. Sorry. I, there was, I know. It was my mom and my sister. But, uh, <laughs> uh, they would go watch a lot of, like, rom-com movies, like, girl movies, like, super Like, Along Came Polly? Fried Green Tomatoes like, and shit. just the girliest <laughs> of girl movies. Whatever you Mean Girls? Of. Good movie. Know. Uh, that is a good movie. Solid I hosted movie. a movie party at Alamo Draft House for that. So, shout out to everybody that went. Bunch of whores there when Yeah. Oh, let me shut up. Passion let of the me shut up. <laughs> anyways, uh, but anyways, so they would watch Passion. this old girly movie Sounds on the screen in front, and I would watch like The Matrix on the back. It was dope. Till it started raining. And I was just, I was just, just did you ever see a movie? My headphones on. Did you ever see a movie called Boys Don't Cry? Mm-mm. I've heard of it. Boys it's Don't Cry. Fucked up movie. I've, I've I saw it when happens. I was a little kid. Is what it the, is it about the trans? Tell me. I think so. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. It's Hillary Swank. This was like in She's the, the one, 90s. Yeah, it's Hillary Swank. She's, she did a million dollar baby. Yeah. Is she hot? It's like, yeah. she's a girl, but she wants to be a boy, and then she gets raped, right? Yeah, some Dude, weird yeah. shit. I remember seeing this movie when I was a kid. Was she won an Oscar up. for that movie, too. Movies yeah. about rape. Or... It was Dude, hardcore. It's too much for me, I cannot right? watch those fucking yeah. movies. That's sad. Yeah. Super sad. Yeah. No. So I can imagine, how old were you when you watched it? <laughs> Probably like six or seven years old. <laughs> oh, no. And then I remember this movie called Powder. Did y'all ever see Powder? No. Uh, what was that about? Y'all should see Powder. What was it about? It's this kid who got struck by lightning, or his mom got struck in li- by lightning whenever she was pregnant with him, and so he comes out all white, looking like he's covered in powder or some <laughs> shit. I don't know. Powder, bro. Jesus I remember Christ. watching American History X at a young age. American History X? Yeah. I just remember walking by while they were watching it. And watching him curb stomp somebody, and I was like, yeah. What the that's that's <laughs> always that's always the scene as it's like a the kid. Very beginning, isn't it? Super sad, bro. Yeah, it's like the first quarter of it. Yeah, what was the most it? fucked up thing you saw when you were a kid? I'm trying to think. Robocop. I watched Robocop. A- American I Werewolf. I watched a lot. An of American Man Werewolf Man. in London. Uh, when the you've seen Robocop. it, right? But like when his friend gets all eaten up by the wolf, that shit fucked me up as a kid. Speaking <laughs> of what I was were you scared of dogs? No, but it was just that scene. It, yeah. Like seeing. Seen someone get, get someone up. get torn up, like yeah. fucked with me. <laughs> What's that one movie where they are a black girl and it's like a civil rights case? And um, uh, Matthew McConaughey's in it and uh, Kevin Spacey. They're like trying the dad because the, the dad the dad kills the guys that aren't his daughter. Man, I don't know. I was watching I'm that as sure. a child, like trying yeah. to comprehend right. the fucking movie. I'm like, what the fuck is going on in this <laughs> shit? And then you know, I, you're like, what the fuck? I watched Terminator 2 as a kid. That's kind of a fucked up Bro, movie. that nuke scene fucked me up as yeah. a kid. God damn yeah, it. Bro, like, that's super sad, super scary. You're like, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that? That quick? We all die like that. And you would stand no chance. Like just, She like melted, but like her skeleton was still there. Yeah. yeah. But you really wouldn't. You would just be dead. Yeah, you'd, no. You'd be would, like, Phew. You'd blow to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> you, you wouldn't even. Oh, I'm sure. You wouldn't feel it. You wouldn't feel it. You would just be gone. Oh, I'm After sure I you feel. I cried. I went down a rabbit hole of like why they bombed the su- the two cities in Japan. That scene was real when he was like, "I vacation yeah. here." What's crazy is like the reason they did those two cities were because they were the only two cities that they could show the like the true power of the A bomb with because They're Tokyo like paper was cities. already firebombed. Like it was already in rubble and debris. Yeah, like they would never know how powerful it really was. Yeah, because this was J- the only other spot. Japan that was, there. was um, pretty much their whole infrastructure was wood and paper. Mm-hmm. That's how like everything was built. So they just it, had to drop firebombs. It, it, the om- firebombs would destroy a fucking city. It, it's right it's almost like if that happened to Texas, they picked uh, Lubbock and Midland. Right. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Well, you know they they dropped the second one. They didn't have to, but they did because they were like. So the first one was to end Japan. No. Yeah. The second one was like, look, Russian, uh-huh. we have. Speaking of Bro, Russians. have you ever seen Now and Then? No. What's that about? It's a movie. Now and Then. That's a deep cut. Deep cut? Yeah. Oh, you you should, you're you showing your it. age here. What the fuck yeah. is this? It was, an, it was I just remember being a kid. Yeah, I had to look it up. <laughs> I had to look it I up. Talk to us about it. What's up with it? I just remember watching it as a kid, and I thought it was oh, a badass movie when I was little. Yeah. But uh, what's it about? It's about these. It's like kids growing up, but they're I guess like now and later. Are pretty good. You ever had those teenage kids? 
candies? Uh, yeah, hell yeah. I'll fuck I like with some now and later. Do you remember yeah. Gobstoppers? What happened to Gobstoppers? Still, like, still you know, like those like the candy actual stores? candy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you go to like a candy you store. They got like, dude, they're fucking. Get some Gobstoppers. They got all the good candy. Dude, those candy go stores. hard, dude. <laughs> what was y'all's favorite candy growing up? I'm still all about. This Snickers. is the nostalgic I still, episode. I'm still all about nerds, Snickers. dude. I'd be tearing up I love some nerds. Sour Punch. We sour do. Punch. The sour <laughs> Punch straws <laughs> yeah, yeah. makes no sense as far as the candy. You know, it was delicious. When I turned 18, my mom threw me a little party. Yeah. Mm. And she had like Pokemon themed party yeah. with Pixie Sticks and Nerds because it was my favorite candies. Awesome. And I thought how fucking gay it was when I was eighteen, but now I'm like very appreciative of that party. It was yeah. cool. Have you heard Pixie Sticks? Those are I the fucking love John Do you remember, uh, the, do you remember the big ass ones yes. at the baseball games? Yes, yeah, you get that shit. giant Pixie like Stick, straw. and then your spit would get it all clogged up. And so yes. you'd I bet you I would. There's fucking <laughs> dip pause, stick. Pause, pause. <laughs> You remember uh, dip? You remember dipstick? Hell yeah! Did you have dipsticks? We had to use your spit to d- <laughs> dip it in the sh- dip it in the sugar and then lick it again. No homo, but yeah, that shit was Pause. good. That shit was fire. That's one of my favorite ones. What too. about Chico sticks? Yeah, fuck with the Chico sticks. Were there's originals too? Oh, there's did you ever eat those? That's ones? a very Mexican. Candy. Did you ever eat those like wax? Like bottle cap ones that had like liquid in it. I did. I did not like that shit. It was not fucking that elephant yeah. peanuts. I hated. I never elephant understood peanuts. it. Elephant but the, remember those fake cigarettes too? Yeah, fake cigarettes. The candy, candy sticks. sticks. Yeah. I still have some. My mom bought them for me. Dude, those are. Fun. I just never. They opened. would always have like Wolverine or Spider Man on there. Like a fake version <laughs> yeah. of that shit too. Dude, I love yeah. It. <laughs> what What's a candy you love now? Snickers. 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 I had yeah. one today. Yeah, occasionally, occasionally yeah. I'll do Twix or M and M's. Once you start Peanut veering M&Ms. off as a Peanut adult, you're yeah. gay. What? <laughs> no, just kidding. But you say? I like an occasional sweet tart. Those are sour my favorite. Skittles every once in a while. Sweet yeah. tarts are pretty good. I like some sour candy. I like, I like a, sour chewy candy. What's the peanut like chocolate bar called? What am I thinking? Mr. Good Bar. Yes. Mr. Good Bar is good. I, I never like, had one. I love just regular Hershey's chocolate. Never had yeah, dark Hershey's. chocolate. I like. I like dark you chocolate. You know one of the zebra. To Little be honest, I really when yeah, I want to yeah. feel like uh, upscale ritzy, I'll get one that's of those Mexican, Milky right? Way Midnight. Yeah, my grandma used to have those. <laughs> for me, well, that's, that's like uh, a coffee candy. Laffy Taffy's pretty good. Yeah. For Laffy me, always goes hard, my fancy candy yeah. is Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Jin just had that today. Oh yeah, nice. we were talking. Yeah. That, that's they my that's my yeah. fancy candy. Uh, Love a good spree. It's hard to beat a Snickers though. Yeah. There was always like weird. Love big, there was always like weird shit, like Big Hunk or Henry. Dude. I had a Big Hunk once and I hated it. <laughs> Dude, they'll rip their teeth right out. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I hated that shit. Oh man! Do you ever drink those fucking little barrels? You know what I'm talking about? No. With all the sweet, uh-uh. like you know, 100 percent sugar, <laughs> bro. That's a thug drink right there. <laughs> like, I always Mexican saw that kid. shit, but I never knew what that you was. Like, pop the lid, the badass yeah, little Mexicans right. always drinking that shit. Luck, luckily, <laughs> my parents drink. got me Capri Sun love. or Kool Aid Jammers. Dude, I love, I love, love, <laughs> love, love, love Hawaiian Punch. Sunny D, bro. Sunny D went hard. Dude, Dude just regular Kool Aid. I was so crushed was good. when Kool-Aid. I found out Sunny D wasn't orange juice. I know. I was crushed. Yeah, Kool Aid went because that's how they used to sell it. Yeah, they yep, used to sell it like that. it was orange juice. It's not orange juice. <laughs> I I think the I don't, I don't drink orange juice. I would say the most hood drink I had. We would do grape drink and orange drink. Why is that hood? That's hood. That's hood as fuck. Kool Aid, man. Yeah. Kool Aid's pretty ghetto. But Kool Aid's great. Kool Aid's fucking fire, good. brother. <laughs> Now, Kool- hey, no, no, no. now Kool Aid's normal. Kool Aid, but if you're like, water, what are you dog? sipping on? Orange drink. Think like, about what the that. Post tap water. <laughs> yeah, Kool-Aid we're drinking Kool Aid with sink water. Yeah, Post tap yeah. water sink with sweet and tea. a bunch of sugar. We did a lot of sweet bro, tea. I, too. I, I do thank God that I wasn't in one of those podunk towns, bro. Did you ever eat saltines with ketchup? No. Jimmy, I've never fucking heard of that. I've never fucking heard of that. You ever ate sardines? No, I never. Uh, some I love me some sardines. I can lie you. Would. I mean, Tortilla and butter, though. Tortilla I mean, we. Yeah, butter. I, I mean, we always yeah. had tuna sandwiches for for uh, dinner. It's good. Yeah. 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 With, with some egg. Uh, with have egg. Had, um, boiled egg. Sorry. Oh, okay. I don't like boiled egg. Some hood classics, right here. <laughs> uh, Certified hood classics. I eat y'all with the saltines and ketchup. <laughs> dude, I've it's never like, heard of that. That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> it's good, dude. That's a hood. Have you ever had that? Must be a That must be an item. That's a fucking idol. Those hard times right there, <laughs> buddy. Shoot. Have you ever had well, a, a, a Lubbock, tortilla buddy. with East peanut Lubbock. butter and jelly? Have I had what? A tortilla with peanut butter and jelly? Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> it's hard, bro. My mom used to do I that. Used to eat those up and I thought she was weird. It's fire, we did bro. a lot of tortilla it's with hard, butter. Bro. Tortilla and butter. Tortilla hard to beat butter. that. <laughs> but did you ever put uh, <laughs> you put like did you ever put sugar in y'all's post toasties? 
Hell yeah, bro. That's yeah. the only way to eat hey, them. <laughs> for real. Sugar and cornflakes, buddy. Fucking yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. The cornflakes, the post toasties. That's what they call them. Uh, the yeah. fucking tortilla and butter. You pull like a bunch of fucking butter and it's all fucking spilling out of the <laughs> fucking tortilla. Yeah, boy. Oh, what else? That's a good one. When it's juicy. <laughs> Spam whenever you fry it up. It's pretty Fuck good. You looking at, right? Bitch, fuck you. <laughs> I was going to say something. I was thinking. Hood classics, bro. Spam is pretty fire. Bologna, if you microwave it, you got to fucking fry it What up. was your favorite uh, hood dessert? Sugar sandwich. Fucking like cosmic sugar brownies. Sandwich. Honey buns. <laughs> just, <laughs> just straight Zebra, sugar with Zebra Zebra bread. Zebra toasted, bro. Yeah. Just Did you sugar toast and it bread. Up? No, I was you too have young. toasted it up? I was too young. Bro. Fucking you have a toast. Toast. Little, little, little Debbie's. <laughs> the cosmic <laughs> brownies. Didn't you bring like those one time? Cosmic brownies. Somebody brought cosmic brownies. Yeah, was it you? I brought them. Yeah, that's right. That mugs go hard. Cosmic. What other certified hood classic? We eat a lot I of like pop- Rice Krispies, bro. We eat a lot of microwaved like popcorn. All the time. Still do. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hood classic. I'm hood with it. I pro- the main thing I probably ate with growing up was uh, cereal. Cereal. What was yeah. your favorite cereal? Probably Fruity Pebbles, Lucky Charms. Do y'all Captain still do y'all still eat cereal yeah. today? Yeah, that's no. my favorite. Uh, I feel like munchy. That's my favorite munchy snack. I feel like there's the like now, the meal, like now to know her. <laughs> can't drink the milk. I feel like once you turn like I don't know, twenty three, you just don't eat cereal anymore. But I will no, say, I'm when I used fan. to go to my granny's, yeah, we'd have killer. these bowls with the straw. <laughs> cereal killer. Hey, me too. I'm a cereal killer. My bad. What'd you say? What Your the granny, fuck are y'all saying? Your granny's bowls. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying when you get to a certain age, you don't eat cereal anymore. I said, I'm a cereal fan. He said, I'm a cereal killer. So I had to oh, I didn't even <laughs> fucking catch on. <laughs> but tell us about your granny's bowls. I'm sorry. It's like, man, y'all must love uh, cereal. It's not even important no more. Yes, it is. Yeah. What Shout kind of cereal were you eating? She has all the cereal. Oh, I just have a memory of being at my granny's eating a cereal out of a bowl that had a straw. Like in the bowl. Oh yeah, and it was like really cool bowl. Spoiled. I just, my I my fucking. I keep thinking about this bowl. I used to have that one too, my bro. my grandma. So gross. That's fine. No, it's not as awesome. <laughs> you know what my grandma snack was? Like what your grandma would get you, give your you? Your grandpa's balls. No. no fucking. <laughs> <laughs> no. Too much. Though. Fucking scrambled eggs. Uh, that, that was her was, snack? Yeah. Fucking scrambled that. eggs. That, that, but still, Mexican, yeah. it's just funny yeah. looking back. It? It's just funny looking back because like okay. most regular kids have like gogurt and shit. Did but you, fuck is I hate it. Oh, that's what she would give you? I hated yeah, yeah. gogurt. I hated <laughs> gogurt. She's like, Mijo, I got this protein right here. Hated. It's probably we ate a lot of eggs too. She was good for you. We ate a lot of eggs, dude. Well, shout out to my grandma. Bean. She would make me like a bacon well, egg taco. Bacon egg taco. Mm-hmm. That was delicious. We always did breakfast for dinner. You know what goes hard? Whenever you got some white bread and you toast it mm-hmm. just a little bit, and, and the then you egg? put some butter, and then <laughs> sprinkle a little bit of sugar. Cinnamon toast. I've too. never heard of that. that I've never so heard of sugar. I guess it's kind of. Sh- yeah, that's what it is, man. Did you ever eat that? Hell yeah. That's that old school that's Mexican a classic shit. Right there, boy. <laughs> it is a I went classic. To, <laughs> I, I went to school. I went to school with this one guy. He, his name was his name was Paul Sean. Like that was his first name. It was like Paul Sean Williams or something. Paul Sean. Something like that. <laughs> like Ricky Bobby? <laughs> something like that. Yeah, we would always make fun of him. It's like, so you have two first names. But anyways, uh he told us um Thank you, we, we we did a we did a science experiment with sugar and water, and he goes, "Man, back in New York, we call that city punch." And I was like, "I've never heard of city punch. <laughs> oh, Just sugar and water." <laughs> tough, oh, right there, <laughs> dude. Yeah, city he was punch black. is tough. But yeah, he, city I, punch is tough, dude. I had never heard of city punch before. <laughs> That's just rough. sugar, just sugar and water. Some hood classics up in here, bro. Yeah. No Kool Aid mixed water. in there. Did you ever? Uh, <laughs> did you ever have the lights cut off or anything like that at home or the water? Wait, say that one more time. Have the lights cut off for the water at your house? Yeah. Yeah. Sucks. We, we, we had those moments. Yeah. I remember having candles and shit. You know, it'd be huddled yeah, around be fucking hot as fuck or cold as fuck. You had to have yeah, hot as fuck. a cooler. I remember my dad put in a, like a stove from the 1920s. <laughs> to heat the house. Yeah, those to awesome. heat the house Dude, up. Those are awesome. And it was, just, it was just wood. A wood burn stove? Yeah. Those are awesome. Those are awesome. You can they cook go for on a lot top of money. Of yeah, you can cook on top of them. Yeah. Okay, well. so crazy. A lot of those people do cabins. They get those. They're pretty that awesome. makes sense. I remember only having standpoint. one y- window unit and all sleeping close to the window unit. Oh, yeah. Everybody yeah. huddled around Everyone it. Everyone huddled around it. Oh, boy, that's that's when we were living right in Thrall, Texas. So a small-ass to town in the Austin area. 
Had those big old giant old school air conditioners right outside the window. Did you have to go put the water in? Yeah. You had to hose it down. There'd be wasps out there. Dude, for real, bro. <laughs> I remember I getting... stung one time in the neck. <laughs> I, I, I remember Whenever getting... You're filling uh, up the water cooler? Yeah. I remember getting a washcloth that fucking... Like, uh, drying it in cold water and just fucking just put it on your face and go to sleep to fall asleep, Jeez. yeah, because it's yeah, fucking yeah. hot as hell. Yeah, damn, I've been there too. that's a hood classic. That's a struggle, right? There. <laughs> hood that's Jesus a certified Christ. hood classic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what about when you had to take a bath and it's cold, so you got to heat the uh, water up on the stove, bro? I was never that, that ingenuity about it, I just took a cold, bro. took a cold bath, I had to do it. Man. Oh, you had to heat the water up, wasn't so. that cool? I always thought I was gonna burn myself, like I did it. No, I didn't do it. That's a hood classic right there, boy. But there's one thing we, my dad, like I never grew up on. You know, he still tried to provide the best for us. Mm -hmm. But one thing we, for some reason, he never believed in was ramen noodles. We never did oh, ramen noodles. I love no. ramen noodle. Never. Dude, I love to upscale the ramen noodle, boy. Oh, uh, you would. You I'd would. Be you be, you be putting an egg in that shit, too? Nah, I don't go that far. That's, too much. That's, <laughs> That's too much. dangerous. When you're a kid, man, my sister, I remember my sister burning herself with some ramen noodles. For real? <clears throat> and our parents weren't home. The oh, hottest, we like it's we hot young. as hell. Did you get a scar? Oh, yeah. You can boil that water. Really? I'm boiling water, yeah. yeah. That's, Where 30 degree, That's like a 30 degree burn. Oh. Yeah. Poor girl. Yeah. You, the, so like so now when I... to this day or no? I don't know. Probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want some ramen noodles. It wasn't until I'm... It wasn't until... I just do it as is. It just do it as as is. Just as is, just a little packet. I used to like make chicken with avocado and ramen. What? It was fire. I used to, like cut up the chicken and throw it all in there. That yeah. sounds pretty. Shit good. was fire. Dude. I re I remember it wasn't until college that's when I started eat ramen because yeah. my roommates, uh, one's from Dallas, one's from Houston, and they taught me how to cook ramen noodles. And it was just doing the ramen with the packet. Add pepper and then just put a bunch of Louisiana sauce. That's all you need. I like the that's chicken crazy. flavor. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's my bro, That's the only one to go. That's Alpha the only Savage, one to do. Bro, he be making some crazy Beef is all right. ramen. Yeah, bro. Uh, who? It's all right. Alpha Savage. You ever see him throw up some ramen videos where he's like upscaling the shit? That's how they do it in jail. That's how they do it in jail. He's out here fetishizing these fucking that's how they Asian do it women. In jail. <laughs> that is how they do it in jail. <laughs> hey, but I just thought of my favorite uh, hood dessert. Let's see it. Graham graham crackers and milk. Ooh. Ooh, dipping in there? Yes. We That's did a lot of Chips good. Ahoy and yeah. milk. Chips we did Ahoy. We're Oreo classics up in here. Sometimes you know you'd be saying? a retard and just fuck it all fall in the water. My grandma used to buy vanilla like wafers, too. Vanilla, vanilla wafers. Yes, bro. The wafer cookies, bro. Let's go hard. Shout out to my grandpa. Uh, all this makes me... get, like, pink like, ones. No yeah. disrespect out here, but oh. this makes me feel bad for the Mexicans. They got a horrible diet. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's why. No wonder why you guys start, baby. No, no wonder why you guys start, got health problems. That's why we all got burritos. That's why we all got Di diabetes, diabetes and shit. And high blood oh, yeah, pressure. Bro. Yo, have y'all heard? Have y'all heard of the diabetes crisis in Mexico? Yeah, because they're all Coca-Cola. Coca they all Coca drink Coke because water is no good. Coca-Cola destroyed Mexico. That's yeah. what happened. It not the cartel. <laughs> If it's not the, the cartel's Coca-Cola, Coca you, know that is, <laughs> you, you could argue, argue Coca-Cola is a cartel. Yeah, they bro. just go in there and, yeah. and low infrastructure and, do, and just, here, have this. So, sugar. But is, is it water, might be more is sugar water, might be more addictive than cocaine. Can you not argue that? Yeah. No, it definitely is, it's bro. Sugar? That's, that's straight. It's Both the true point. Booger sugar <laughs> versus sugar sugar. I've never had booger <laughs> sugar. I don't know. Y'all see Men in, y sugar sugar in Black? He's like, more sugar. Can I have another beer, please? Yeah. But anyways, uh, uh, but in Mexico, in in Mexico, like the water, is it really that bad where they can't even boil it? Montezuma's Revenge. I'm sure they could boil it. I'm sure but, they could boil it. You could boil anything. Because I think that if you're used to Maybe. it, if you're acclimated to it, you could drink it too. Is it just where they got the these communities or villages so addicted to sugar? That's just all they drink. No. They just rather they just. just America's awesome, and we have a. A good infrastructure. Well, you used to have no, I think, I, it's, like, I think it's like it's a deep. I think it's like deeply culturally like rooted. It's, but how we're addicted to well, the like just wa they water. Give it to no, their just, kids, yeah. just water. Like naturally has like. Have you seen uh, those vice? The vice has some documentaries on it. Shit, but like man. us, we vice, have. Yeah. I would say, dogs. they're kind but, of a little woke though. But they're us, way too woke, right? yeah. us, woke I would say they're way too woke now. Yeah, but back then they were. Yeah, they used to be dope. No, they used to be real dope. Used to go to North Korea. I'm not gonna say we have the best water, but we're still. Look, Texas has the best water. No, but like just like fluoride and all that shit. But like I. That's how they turn people. It's gay. it's drinkable, but 
answer me this. They're, but we're still highly hey, addicted to sugar. This is how you find out if you're if you if you're hanging out with real men. All right, I'm gonna ask each one of you a question. Okay. Have you ever swam in Buffalo Lake? Yes. I well, know. We've never been out there. Drink that water. We've too. never been out there. Okay. You choked it down. But I floated the river with right. everyone fucking drinking. But you gotta eat. You gotta swim Buffalo Lake. Cause it's got the water. Not, yes, <laughs> straight, got water. Everybody, that's what Pretty everybody always said ever since here, I was bro, a kid, honest. dude. The Buffalo Lake's got got water, but we just no, always yeah. swimming it. Well, all our runoff goes into that fucking yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, got got water. I slid down the dam, dude, yeah. on my ass. Yeah. Did you <laughs> into the side that literally jumped. looks real bad? Bro, I was swimming in that shit and I opened my eyes. It was weird. Is that why? Disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting under that water. Bro, people it's, throw up in that water. I shit in that water. I was about to say I shit in that water. water. You shit in things it? in that water. I shit, dude, like our ancestors. I shit in multiple bodies of I've water. I've seen so many people puke in that water. It's Buffalo ridiculous. Lake. But yes, bro. is that why? I got invited. Is go that why Mexicans there. live longer? We just we build up our immune systems. Like Do we that? live longer? Mexicans don't live. Longer. Supposedly, don't. supposedly, the Japanese live longer. Supposedly, long. Latinos have longer lifespans than anyone then else who, in the bro? world. I hate that. Like, but a, lo- but a lot of it's because when they do, <laughs> whenever they do get food, they cook it. They're not eating fucking McDonald's. and. I've taken a lot of interest in Have you gone that. to a McDonald's recently? Have you seen the demographic of the people that go in there? But still, like, I'm just saying, like, Dude, they're not. I don't want to go in there. Like, Jesus, all that shit's so fucking poison. Like, Arby's beef is, beefs and there. cheddars aren't good for you. Yeah, none of those places are good. Pizza, like, yeah. dude, that shit's bad. All of it's bad. Right? It's hard to avoid. It's convenient. The hood classics at this point. What do we eat today? Uh, pot bellies. Water burger. Sandwich. Have you had that? I like yeah. I've had it. Yeah. It's pretty good. The Dude, fucking, I have a real hard time paying The for Italian sub. I feel like I could get the house. The Italian sub is badass. Time. That's what I got. But, Firehouse sub is pretty good. But it's fucking expensive as hell. 15 yes. bucks and then plus the drink and chips is like 21. Have you ever been a lot to of Jersey Bite? Mm. Is it good? Is it good? It's pretty good. I've yeah. never been there. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Joey Diaz. I've only been there once, but it was good. Oh, it was good. Yeah. What's your favorite sandwich when you do buy it? Uh, Love good Italian. Wait, I like wait the, you said pot bellies, right? Yeah, pot bellies. I'm talking about firehouse. Firehouse is good. Firehouse yeah. is fire. Firehouse yeah. Is fire. yeah. That is the one place that I will pay for sandwich. Uh, last weekend, I bought a lobster roll. That shit was amazing. Yeah. Was From friend. where? They came down. It's called Cousins. Lobster or some shit. They came from Dallas. The main yeah. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ma- yeah whatever. Fuck. She was delicious, work, man. She I got a, I don't know, but it was good. I I I got a the sub at uh, Subway. I got a ham and uh, ham turkey and cheese uh, with white bread. I was very disappointed. I was like, man, this shit used to seem good. It's like, like sugar, dude. That well, bread we is like to, sugar. We used to get like the meatball, like when it was five dollar foot long. We used to go That's get good. fucking meatball subs all the time. But now you eat it. Like, what the fuck am I eating? It's not real meat. It's not real, you know? Fucking it's McRib. Disgusting. Plus, Jared was a pedophile. Bro. That's just fucking good. Jim Gaffigan had a good ass joke because they, you know, Subway growing up, they would say that's the healthy alternative. It's like, oh, it's better than eating hamburgers. It's like, well, let's not eat a McDonald's burger, but let's go to Subway and let's get five hamburgers rolled into a ball. And then line it up in a foot long piece of bread. <laughs> Dude, meatball subs are delicious. I'll say that. I've, I've never had one. I've never had. They one. are fucking good when they're like good. You know what I mean? I'm not and they like just they heat it up gross. in a. Pla- you need to try one of my meatballs. And they man. heat it up in a plastic bag. <laughs> no, no homo. <laughs> I I use ground beef, and some Italian sausage, and a whole lot of love, and some other ingredients. No breadcrumbs. I'm Dude, not a big fan of delicious. Italian sausage. You're fucking gay. I went um Zippo. <laughs> one time I went to uh, one of my friend's house and they were doing You're back some, the brother, we're back, baby. The we're fucking back. They were Pendulum doing has swung back. We're back. Yes, I am back on the They they were doing some whack ass vegetarian vegan stuff and they were doing meatballs, but it was what the meatballs were made out of were bean mashed up beans. I would trying I to sell us that thing. Wait, so what can you explain the situation? Toss me that bread. So one of my friends' house that I went to uh, when I was in uh, when I was in high school, they uh, were doing some like vegan vegetarian. You have two stuff. options when you do this: you burn that house down, <laughs> or, you, or you call the cops and tell them that God. those places should not exist. I don't understand this shit. I I hate it. like if you serve me a vegan meatball, I don't think I would be friends with you ever again. Like, bro, 
Yeah. And it, don't get have me you wrong. had vegan food? Like, have you guys yes. had legitimate vegan food? Yeah. I, Never I, have. I, no. Like, I don't get me wrong. Uh, I've had a dope ass lasagna that I didn't know was vegan until after I ate it. But it was good while I was eating it. What about it made it vegan? Just no meat? Yeah, it was no meat. There was still the sauce and all that stuff. There was still the pasta, but there wasn't any. You know what throws me off? So, Cause I'm on one now, baby. Let's Shout go. To Thor. Let's go. Let's go. Is these vegans like? Okay, I talk a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. Live your life. Like again, I say it again. I'll die for your right to live as an American free. So live your life. But when you ain't sitting here as a vegan, sitting on your soapbox about why you shouldn't eat meat, it might make me a little upset. And some of these people that do it like to snort cocaine. <laughs> And I'm like, hey, do you see the fuck? Yeah, you, you're saving one industry. Okay, that's noble. I get it. Right. But you, do you know how many people fucking actually died trying to get that cocaine into your nose? Yeah. I would argue it's one, two, can at least one. On, can I ask you a question? Can you die on cocaine? Oh, yeah. Fentanyl, yeah. brother. Oh, yeah. Fentanyl. Oh, yeah. That's but, okay. but from the, okay. from the from Peru uh-huh. to America, yeah. At least one person had to die getting that air. Oh, yeah. Supposedly. That the, shit ain't the, vegan. Supposedly the farm. It ain't kosher. <laughs> it ain't kosher getting that cocaine. So back in the, 18, back in the 1800s when. Both ways. Back in the 1800s when Coca-Cola was being invented, yeah, though, a, a, a lot of those pharmacists ended up dying. Yeah, I was because, talking about that. Because they ended up dying from like cocaine guy, addiction. Peter, Peter. I don't remember. No, the podcast with Rogan. Oh, Peter Berg, the He's director. Talking about how like she used to have all kinds. They used to I had like, even gotten there. They should prescribe you just heroin like over the counter, dude, and promethazine and codeine and shit, just Shout like out in the thirties. But you know, you, you just we, buy it. That was a hook. It was just like going to CVS. They, they just give it to you. But hey, dude, lean. but hey, we've talked about big pharma. Let's <laughs> <laughs> not talk about. Drugs. But, but we've talked about big pharma and how all these pills are bad, right? Right. But you're talking about how eventually it's going to be where I guess. Uh, big pharma becomes like weed and psychedelics, right? Yeah, because it's but over, will they like mess? The, will they mess with those stuff too? That's why. That's why it's scary, right? That big pharma is getting into these. Yeah, they're getting into it. These they've synthesized it already. It sucks. Bro. So nothing's natural or I mean, organic you can grow anymore. It. If right? it's legal, you could grow it. You could definitely uh, get an organic source of it. Yeah, it but as far as like what they're putting, what what farm, what the pharmaceutical companies are going to put into it? No, it's all. Uh, Dude, made in the you lab. You know Tim O'Neill? Have you read the Have you heard of the book Chaos? No. It's about Charles Manson. Oh and yeah, I've heard of that. With him, how being the CIA a, set. So that guy was on War Mode's podcast today. It's pretty interesting. Oh, today. Yeah, it came out. Well, it came War out. War Mode. It came out yesterday. All right, I need to watch that. It's this basically so unbelievable. The CIA used Charles Manson to do basically a study. Well, they were doing MK Ultra, and he was part of it. So. They brainwashed him using LSD. Yeah. And they like fried his brain. And basically he was an asset of them to commit these murders. They taught he they taught him he, how to brainwash people with acid. Yeah, and it's like he might have committed the murders because he was giving these things. That he, he convinced those people to well, he to did, commit the murders. Yeah, because he, he was a ma- they there there's this guy, I can't think of his fucking name, but he's like the master of brainwashing. Like he uh Whitey Bulger. Whitey Bulger. He, 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 I mean, they said he, he, he fucked went, Whitey Bulger. They said he would trigger just like that. He, he got Whitey Bulger. He got Manson. He even had, like, cleanup in the 90s with Clinton. Like, weird shit. Like, 9-11, we're talking. Like, this motherfucker was the master of uh, brainwashing people. Like, that shit's real. And it was a very interesting So podcast. what is so, it? Is it control? Can I, can I flip well, this script you, for a second? Only because we were talking about brainwashing. Do you think brainwashing and hypnosis are the same thing? No, because we're different. all brainwashed one way or another through different means of propaganda. MK Ultra. Gotcha. Like there's different. Like you can use pro- social media to brainwash people, but yeah. hypnosis. It's like there's you, a re- you and me. That's a technique. There's a reason yeah, like why they call it radio and television programming. Mm. And then if you is. listen to the Jeremy oh. Corbell episode today, mm-hmm. they've been conditioning us for aliens. They have it's a whole other. Because they, really? like, apparently they did a study in the '60s that said like society would collapse if we just told them that aliens are real and they're here. So they've been really? slowly programming with ET. It. So they slow, but you know, like, like Marvin the Martian movies, yeah. cartoons. They've slowly been putting it into our zeitgeist that they're here and they've been here and they're way more superior than us. Do you think they'll invade or take over the planet? Why would they? They already they've, have. They've already been here. Yeah. 
Thousands yeah. of years. They're already enjoying what we got, right? Now so I'm under do you the, think they created us for the gold thingy? That's, so, so this is an interesting... I'm glad we're talking about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, not to mention we've been seeing fucking UFOs around Me and Bradley here. saw one. Dude. Me and Bradley saw one the video other footage. Day. What, uh, Swag, what Brother. did you, what did you think of that video? Jesus. I think that I've been, that's the same thing I've been seeing, except y'all were closer to it. It's fucking weird. But my bad, what were you saying? What was I saying? The that gold was, mining thing. Oh, well, no, that's what they're all... Is that crash stitching? Well, because when you add, like, you add the fact that... Because I asked Swag this earlier. It was like, did they just gift us these? Because that's a theory. Like, they just dropped off a, a ship. Say, here, see what you can do with it. So whether or not you want to say this and that and the other, let's say we have the ships. Because they say we do. That means money and weapons. Like, we're in a fucking arms race with China and Russia. And maybe Israel over these fucking weapons. Whoever can 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 re- reverse engineer this fucking spacecraft is going to be the leader of the of the next century wow. with the technology. So it's like doesn't really matter where they came from. So it's the fact that we have this shit. And this is some Star Wars is, shit. And is, it the, like, is it the so-called Anunnaki? That well, that's what they were saying. It's like it doesn't even really matter what the fucking reason is they're here or what. But these guys were throwing out these theories like they created us. There's in that. Our souls mean like a source of energy for them, or so like we're a bowl of souls for them to harvest. Like that was a weird one to hear. Did you have you heard that one? Like the soul, like they they harvest the human souls. That's what, what the they hell? do. We'll yeah. just, we'll just keep going, keep going. And then, and then it was like so they 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 came. They either created us or they uh, manipulated the apes and made us. They created like Jesus. Shit like this is like the shit that they're throwing out there. I don't even know if it fucking matters. Like, it's just weird the fact that like, the fact of the matter is if they're here, they're we're not the most superior beings on ever. You know, we're, we're nothing to them. So I think we can work with them though. But I think they want. So to there was like a this. book. Like if you go listen to this Rogan episode because I'm doing a bad job of explaining it. Is this what happened on today's Rogan episode? Yeah, with oh, Jeremy wow. Corbell. Okay, with Jeremy Corbell. And, wow. Uh, so there was a book in the '60s that they were giving. It was a manual for uh, fighter jets, like the school. To, go, to be a fighter pilot, they gave a book out and it said that they've been here for thousands of years and there's four species of them. Yeah, and it was just like explaining, like, explaining, like, rules of engagement with them. Like, wow. That's what they uh, yeah, they presented like, in the congressional hearing. I read so that. So that guy, he's not full of shit. Right, he, I did see that. Grush. So I thought, I, I, I was under the spell of brainwashing that he's full of shit, but they're doing that for a reason because... He, the media is trying to dis- discredit him. Discredit him of out the ass because he's just an investigative journalist. Right. His job was literally to find out where this money was going, and he he found it. He was the unluckiest person on the planet because he found out where. That's the fuck not he went. Grush, though, right? Yeah, it's him. No, it's Grush. Yeah. It's the guy who who, who he's testified. a journalist. He's like he, well, his job. He's was not he a journalist. Under I'm cover? sorry. Cor- okay, Corbell's, I was about to say. Corbell's a journalist. Corbell's okay, journalist, okay. Yeah. His job was just to find out where the money was going. So he's literally just doing his job. And he, he's on these black ops. And he's like, what the fuck? It's my job to tell like the people where the fucking money's going. Like It's going into these programs. What's crazy is like that's what we've wanted to know, right? Yeah. Like, where's the money going? It's there. And this they is shut where it it's down, going. Though, right? They've shut it all down. No, they haven't. It They're just trying to do this because legally there's a whistleblower act, so he can legally do this. Right. The so whistleblower act is a game changer. So Talk that, about that. What is it? So that means you can, you're protected. For, you're, you're protected under the law to say like this is in the public's interest to know what the fuck is going on. The reason why this is a problem is because it's unconstitutional. Mm-hmm. Taxpayer money is going towards things that we have no idea. We're talking about. hundreds of millions, and we're of not dollars. benefiting from it at all. Just, That's why this is a problem. That's why they're hiding it because but, what it means is that the oil and gas industry is obsolete. Now we have a new type of propulsion that would completely revolutionize everything. And th- these guys, like, talk, I, obviously they can't say everything, but they're, like, one of the guys, the other guy, not Jeremy Corbell, I can't think of his name, he's interviewed, like, everybody. And everybody's, like, a lot of this shit that we have is, like, as, like, things that we can it's reverse consumers. in it. No, like, like, the fact that we can do the things we do with technology is because of these ships. Like, we were able to, reverse these are the only things we can, like, superconductors, mm-hmm. fiber optics. Shit like that, like Silicon Valley was created because we were able to reverse engineer the, the ships. Do you like, think those guys know what's going on? The guys I, don't think, in Silicon I, don't, Valley? I don't think anybody knows what's going on. 
Like you can't really. That's what they were saying today. Need Even the to ones that engineer. know what's going on, I don't think. Well, they know that's what's what they were really saying today. Is like you can't. How can you definitively prove that they were they engineered us? Like you right. can't prove that. How right. the fuck are you gonna? Right. So it's, they don't really know what what sounds like. What's going on is China and Russia also have Their own spacecrafts. Questions. No, they've also recovered spacecrafts. So it's like who's gonna? It's a space race. Who's gonna fucking get the you, weapons you, first? Because you, Star Wars shit. But right. they were talking about before Bradley got here. Like these ships might. One of the one of the problems, that, which is actually really fucking scary, is we have like so so much layers of bureaucracy, and it's hard to like get things done because we have all these laws and these checks systems, and balances systems and in place that doesn't allow us to get fully fully do it. But like China and Russia, they don't give a fuck. They, they, you do it. We control you. Fuck you. Just gangster. They're, they're, yeah, it's that's like mob shit. It. So yeah. that's why they might even unfortunately win because they can do it faster than us. But No, I don't think so. But because what's hap- what's ha- what has happened globally is that the United States has shown up at all these crash sites and recovered whatever it was there. And again, I'm just throwing out. I'm sure they have their own Roy. recoveries. Yeah, but I'm also throwing out Rattlesnake Roy ideas. What I've heard is like these ships might be like an action the alien itself might be the ship so wow. there's no way in hell we can control the ship because it takes that alien to do it yeah. so there's like that's another reason they're like like his like, whole like his whole exoskeleton is the ship so mm. you can't fucking keep. yeah i've heard that those orbs they turn into uh um, yeah it's like beings. it's, it's they them, turn into beings it's them themselves it's like Neuralink on like a thousand so yeah. is like, that what we saw I think I might be. I, I think it might be. What we, did you see that video? Because you see how it like evaporated, right? Yeah. Huh? I saw it. I was the one me and Bradley did had uh, the video he recorded. When did you? Do you have it still? It looks yeah. real little, foggy all around it. But Bro, it's it but so the whole sky the sky is clear. I've sat here on the soapbox like I want to see hey, one, and we listen, saw one. It was fucking I can, creepy. Chris, dude. if you want to see one, we can see one. Come come to my house. I'll show okay. you one. It was fun. Right. I promise. Chris, it was okay. creepy, dude. Can you do like, me a hey, favor and turn up the Bluetooth? We can make them appear, that dude. Uh, that Trust one. me. Yeah, that one. Roy, we can make them appear. I mean, they're here. Can we test this theory? Yeah. We can. We'll I'm test it. Test it. I'm a scientist. With no drugs. Scientists, no drugs. I mean, As other than always do. alcohol. I sound like a bitch. It's not video. Just watch it. Just, yeah, just you can give see it a the moment. Clear. Well, scary, dude. It's fucking it's weird. It's scary. It's intense. It is intense. Look at that. You can see the moon very clear. I don't know. I'm recording it right now. It's not cloudy. I'm Let's watching the that. video, yo. So They're out here there. trying to see what's coming. See? It's not cloudy. Okay. And it's cool how Lubbock has some history, you know, with the Lubbock Lights incident. What and do you think it is about this yeah. area? But look, just watch it. Just watch. That is not a plane. That is like, it's like an orb. And it's been moving. That is not a plane. Don't take your eye off it. Look. Watch it. There. There's the moon. Do you look at it? Like, look into it. It's definitely moving around. It moved really fast. But the way that it's moving. The look. Because it stops. That's moving way too fast. I don't know what the fuck that is, man. It's like this. It just went away. No, look. Look. And it's back in it. it Oh, Oh, wow. Interesting. (laughs) Dude. It was just gone, just like that. Wow, bro. Was gone. I liked it and I didn't watch it. <laughs> Not surprised. Not surprised. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. Like, there's, 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 you, there's been some that have come out lately. Yeah. Where it's just a little tiny, like, BB or pebble just like floating in the sky, right? Dude, that was trippy, bro. But it is trippy. But I feel like what we saw. I don't know that that's you, still weird. Is that, like well, it could? Mm-hmm. Okay, we brought it up. The thing that, I see too, though, it splits. It splits into different parts and floats around, like chases each other. I mean, I understand yeah. there's debris, there's meteors, there's satellites, but apparently, if it was a meteor or a comet, it would have had a tail. Right. It was just weird. How it was just like it a, was an orb. It, it does. So the way it looks on on <laughs> video, it doesn't give it justice. Like it really looked like just a ball of. Like pure energy, yeah, was just floating in the air. Yeah, and like it, it, it seriously felt like it was coming this way, like straight, and then it just like took a hard, like turn, yeah, and then it just, just disappeared. Hey, you know when you talk about MK Ultra, Roy, what's MK Ultra? Do you know what it is? Uh, it's like a 
Who I believe it started with the CIA giving LSD to prostitutes to give to men just to find out how they can control minds. It's like a mind control uh-huh. thing. And then it turned into like something way it, more it, sinister. And it infiltrated media and Hollywood and everything, right? So we've all been programmed. And it's real easy to see. Once you step outside of it, it's easy to see how it's been done. Real obvious. And what I'm saying is that we haven't been told the truth, you know? We've been given hints about the truth. We've been conditioned to accept certain things. But as far as, like, uh, what's really going on and what what are we capable of as humans? Um, Can we manifest things? Do we have psychic powers and things like that? Can we communicate without language, without speaking, I mean? Like telepathy, those types of things. And the way that I like to research this, the way I like to go about it is um, the CIA. What has the CIA looked into? Because with the Freedom of Information Act, we have access to a lot of things. And you can go down these Reddit rabbit holes where people have um, looked all this shit up. And the CIA has a lot of different things that they've um, spent money on researching and there's a lot of information about how the universe is a hologram and all kinds what of the shit. Hell? <laughs> yeah, bro. It's fucking crazy, but dog. It, but it's it's wild how temporary this physical world is. Yes. Yeah, it is. Real. It's it's temporary and then just Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. That's what I was thinking about earlier today. It's like a party. It's like a party that you get to show up to but you can't stay, you know? Mm. It's like eventually you you got to say bye. I think that's good though. You got to say goodbye. And, and But it's good, but you have to really uh, learn to accept it. You talk about stoicism. That's a huge component in stoicism is meditating on your own mortality. And, and because it, what it does is it will make you appreciate life more, you know, because it's rich. Life is, we should celebrate every single day, man. As crazy as it sounds, every day is sacred. This is, whatever we're a part of, it's something uh, highly unusual and very mysterious and uh to think that it's all about materialism or status wealth uh, to think that it's all about you know impressing other people who don't give a fuck about you you know that, that they, i feel bad for people who think that way and there's so many these days you know you have to really get in touch with yourself and when you do you'll learn that overcoming obstacles giving yourself goals exploring traveling that's that's what life's really about you know and yeah it takes resources to do that so i mean eventually you're gonna have to make some sacrifices make a little bit of money but you it's have not to find all, ways it's not all about the money I see, yeah, I, there I, is no I, tomorrow I see, bro, i see a lot of people complaining about there is no tomorrow life just Swag, think, there yeah. is no tomorrow. there's no tomorrow there's no tomorrow this is america though we should be so grateful I see just to a lot live of people here complaining about things and i think about it like they're like even with our ancestors, nothing sweet in our ancestors' life was free. Like, oh. Nothing. Getting dinner for them. Well, granted, life's pretty goddamn sweet now. Man. But everything's sweet now. Like, should you should work for we it. We got some hard times coming. It, it's coming. Dude. It's unfortunately coming. You're right. The fucking... I don't know if it'll uh, be our sh- lifetime. The shit that's coming with China is going to... Dis- not the fucking takeover of anything. Project Bluebeam? But their economy is going to crash. <laughs> Project Bluebeam? When yeah. their economy crashes. Let's talk about Project Bluebeam. Oh, hold on. We'll, Bluebeam? we'll get in. Okay. Wait, are we talking Blue Book or Blue, Blue, which was Blue Bluebeam? Bluebeam, like which the, one's that the, one? the, the fake, fake alien invasion. invasion. Okay, yeah. Okay, we'll talk about that. But we I just want to say this. I'm gonna get <laughs> China's... Up. They're going to collapse? Up. Well, my whole... World War III. Before that, China's economy is going to crumble and... It might send us into a disaster, but what I was gonna say was, like, I I, I see a lot of people on on uh, on Instagram complaining about things like yeah shit like like first of all, nothing is ever fucking sweet like nothing should ever be this good like yeah I get it like the system might right now the system might bend you over people might bend you over and fuck you but you you gotta you gotta do something about it and you gotta be. On your fucking on your toes, working towards a goal, like you know what I mean. Like yeah, there's yeah. like if this shit like what I want this to be was just given to me, I wouldn't. I don't think I would fucking enjoy it. No, and, uh, and, it wouldn't and mean like, as if much. I was just given a black belt, I don't think I would enjoy the fucking black belt. It's gonna be a three year fucking process of getting a black belt. Yeah. It's gonna be fucking awesome. You the know? obstacle and is the way. Like, 
I wish like some of these people that I associate with, I don't even consider them friends, would understand like, bro, nothing good is the e- like. If yeah, it's, it's easy. easy. It's easy. It's like, no good. It's not good valuable. Yeah, it's not fucking fun just to be. For sure, no one's to gonna be, hand you anything. And and a lot of people, I think, like the older I get, I think a lot of people like want mommy and daddy. Like they want to be. Just, they want to be. Baby they they want to be. They want somebody to tell them what to do, how to live. Like, it's, and I'm living. I'm. I'm. I've changed my my like mentality in my life. Like, Amen. yes, I live an easy life, but I want to earn shit. Like, I want to get after it. Like, I want to be a good guitar player. Though. I can't just be a good guitar player. <laughs> Fuck it, you gotta. Yeah, there's no man. There, there is no. You just gotta go do you can't it. Can't fake that shit. You, you want you like reap what and, you some, sow. and some people have yeah with different exactly. goals. I get it. Like you have different it. goals and different mentality, but. You gotta fucking put in the work, and I think that's the fun part of it all. It sucks. God damn it, it fucking sucks, man. It fucking sucks sitting in this hot There's garage no shortcuts, bro. sometimes doing but this But is, is it a privilege to go through the the suckiness of life? Yeah, think about it though. Like, think about the the suckiness we go through as Americans. It's not the yeah. Suckiness he's lit- that yeah. This Mexicans American go. this American is literally saying that this leisure this leisure time that he has to learn a skill sucks. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's so hard. Think about the like, sh- like why those suck, Russians were talking suck about is that. living yeah, in a yeah, fucking exactly. poor country where you're fucking escaping death. That sucks. That, you know that, what I mean? That's why yeah. I can't wait till you see 2001: A Space Odyssey. Like no. for how far man has come. Like, we were worried about fucking monsters in the woods, like yeah. actual, like, cats but, and shit. But, Superstition, well, man. Yeah. Before we get into Project Blue Bean, my whole point was, like, I have a lot of people that, again, I don't consider a lot of people my friend, but who I genuinely want to see succeed, and I see them complaining, like, dude, you you, you got it good here. It's it, Oh. Can you call them out? Make the fucking... <laughs> yeah, you might hate capitalism, what the fuck is wrong with you, but... Make that shit in your favor, cause it you can rig that goddamn system to work in your fucking favor, brother. It ain't that fucking hard, man. There's there's people that are a lot less that have done a lot more in this fucking world, and you can make a good living doing art. I think you know if you're an artist, like yeah. literally like painting or whatever, you can make a fucking living. You got TikTok and Instagram, brother. You got the fucking world at your hands. Like, come on now, it's gonna take years and years. But I also that was all my point. Like, anything good should take. The, the ten thousand reps. It should take. I would say I would, it should take you your whole life to be that good. You know what I mean? That depends what, on your definition definition of success. Like you could yeah, be highly sure. skilled and you can be producing really good shit, but just because there's not people patting you on the back and praising you, don't you, need that though. You know? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's I what just, I mean. Yeah, I, when you when you because I was I've been thinking about my mortality too. I mean, when I die, am I gonna be happy? No, well, I think if I continue if you have a black belt die, around if, your waist, if I continue nice. this and I continue. Climbing the mountain. Try, climbing the mountain until I die, and I hope it's in 100 years. Yep, yep. But when I do die, I'm like, well, fuck, me, fuck let me it. Let tell you dude, the it was fun. Take, it was so fun. Take this advice as how you take it. I mean, not explain it. I would say you have to fake it till you make it. You have to hack the system and break out of the matrix. You, I don't think you should yeah, fake it. I, like I, <laughs> I don't think you fake here's, it till you make it. I don't a, think here's that's... The thing. Here's the thing. I don't, I don't, hey, sometimes I don't you have to. Sometimes you have to. The difference is the man in the arena, he works. He works for his living. And everybody else gets to sit in the stands. That's the difference. Yeah. You willing to put in that work? Or do you just want to sit on the right, sidelines yeah. and make your comments? I, I guess I just went through like a fucking. And some life. people don't even get to the sidelines. <laughs> uh, <I> just, <laughs> they get. They're, they're sitting on the couch at home watching the event. <laughs> For real. Watching the event through TV. I just oh, like. Man. I guess I just went through like. I guess with like even just doing jujitsu, and I just went through this like process of like thinking about that. Like, I guess it is like, if you want to be like, I can't fault anybody for doing what they want to do, but it seems like so much fun to be that man in the arena. You know, you want to, I think that's a good life to live. And I've been, I was telling Swag, like, I'm trying to, I have things that I want to do in my life, but in, ultimately I want to pursue the truth and, and good in this world. And even Amen. doing that, I don't think is easy. No. Even doing that's easy. Uh-huh. It's There's not easy. distractions everywhere, it's not easy. bro. Well, it's not easy because we've been programmed. We've yeah. been programmed with lies and, and illusions yeah, and shit. But I, I, We're in the matrix. I, I just think even like, we've been doing this for a few years now. I'm like, how much fun it's been. Like, well, fuck it, dude. Let's see what we can. That's what I've always been saying when I'm drunk. But I think it's fun to like. You gotta make some, do some. If you're an American, like most Americans, I think, 
have the luxury to pick like the hard things they want to do yeah so go fucking pick something hard man. it's a luxury go fucking pick it's something hard i think you i think we all need something hard to do in our life yeah because yeah, it's it makes you then you really see who you are as a fucking human yeah. being and you see if you, you don't challenge yourself you got to you'll man. never know you, you gotta you, sweat you got to you, gotta, you sweat. gotta cry you, you gotta you bleed. gotta do the ugly work bro if you don't do the ugly work you're never even gonna know who you are as a person I tell you, you'll never have been tested. I know jujitsu is not the only way, but you go do that, you're like, oh yeah, I'm on the low end of the totem pole, baby. Like this is. It's not the lonely way. It's not the only way, it's but not. it it's uh it's like one of the most pure pure ways. It, it doesn't matter what you look like, what you believe in, what you love. When you step on that mat, it's like hey, it's for, you, for your hands and feet and this, everything else. It's like what somebody, do you got? And then to see like somebody better than you, and they might be younger than you. God damn, dude. It's humbling. Oh, you get beat by women. I do get that beat are by, younger I do than get you. beat by women, by the way. He loves getting beat by women. I, get, I got he beat by it. an older lady. <laughs> Who doesn't? An old lady beat me. But I, I accept you it. You liked it? I, you liked it? No it. homo, but I accept it. I take it. Like, well, let's go. Uh, I was Because we, we did Pirate Radio again to re, like on Friday, uh, last week. Nice. And I'm like, I think we should all be. Was that a so, Patreon episode? No, I just haven't. It'll be up tomorrow. You're going to so, put it on YouTube? But I just what was like, I doing that day? <laughs> you didn't want to come because you. Were, I called you. I was that I Saturday? Just woke up. I just woke up. Oh, was Saturday, hey, dude. I was I, fucking yeah, tired. Yeah, it was a last minute thing. Invite. Oh well, it was last minute thing. I told him if he would have told we me the night before, chair. I would have been. It just here. so happened we did lawn chair, so we did okay. it. Okay. So then it's just a side quest. It's yeah. not a pirate mission. I'm not. It's not yeah, a it was deal, a side quest. But we side talked quest. about this on on that one. I just hey man, it's all love. I'm in a. There's no ill here. But I consider y'all my friends like more. No, maybe like a few other. I know we've gone down this again too, but I don't consider many other people my friend. But I would like to see a lot of people I admire succeed, and they. I just I see them bitch out on Instagram. I get it's social media. I get it. They bitch out on it, and I'm like, come on. It ain't like. What do you? What do you mean? What do they? What they do complain. You? They oh, complain okay. and they oh, talk okay. about the problem. Uh, I think I just bitched out. They, no, 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 no. <laughs> They talk about their... Deactivate. First of all, they just talk about their problems. Like, you shouldn't be doing you, that on Instagram anyways. But. You can't worry about insecurities. No one gives a fuck uh, what you look like. It all depends on what... I also think I realized that, too. Nobody gives a fuck about anything but themselves. Yeah, you know, the that's, day, that's important. The Everybody day, has their own agenda, bro. It's just like, yeah, dude, nobody man, cares. Nobody cares. Everybody's, Everybody's worried no, about no, themselves. Nobody gives I mean, a fuck. I mean, Roy's, the is, Roy's it, an ugly motherfucker, but I still love him. It, <laughs> I do what I can, but the truth I do what I can. The matter is that... As badass as you are, as your own individual character in your movie, it's just a background character. What I tell Somebody you, what else. I tell you, Swag, you're not, you're not as bad as I thought you were, and I'm not as good as I thought I am. Yeah, that's what it is, man. But I say that to say I'm excited to get these pirate ready going back home. Amen. To get back with the boys, we're all on our own fucking journey, and I think we're all trying to better ourselves one way or fucking another. I think you all should too. If I could say anything as Rattlesnake Roy. Challenge yourself every day, man. You got to. Hey, you know what jujitsu is? Jujitsu is l- grabbing life by the throat. Literally, that's what you're doing. It's like My one man versus another. <laughs> one man versus another. No weapons. I'm going to try to strangle you. You're going to try to strangle me. It's a lot of fun, right? It is fun. It, and, is, it's, it really is just a whole lot of fun. But how much anxiety and stress do you do you experience before you get on the mat? A whole bunch. I dread it. <laughs> and then what happens when you step I mean, on the mat? So good. At, not when I step. But when you after, step off the mat. Afterwards, I'm like, God, I'm glad I was there. Yeah. It was, Every time. Everybody smiles. Everybody's happy. Peace, it's love, peace, and love. It really is. And I'm like nice. so fortunate to be a part of it. It's like let's strangle each other for therapeutic reasons. Nice. Pittman Jiu Jitsu. If you guys want to feel that. By shout the out to Pittman. But um, for real, Project shout out to Blue. Pittman. What do you call it? Blue Book or Blue, Blue Beam? Beam? Blue Beam. What, is what the fuck Blue is this Beam? shit? So apparently it's the big event that's supposedly going to happen. We're going to wake up one day. We're going to see aliens have arrived. It's going to be like uh, Independence Day. Is it projections? But it's it's like projects. So if okay. you've ever seen Spider-Man Far From Home, remember when Mysterio has the big old monster, the but, it, but it's all projectors and drones. Supposedly that's what it is. That's scary because they're going to try to do the one wo- New World Order on us. They're going to throw an Avengers level threat. One, and- one government, <laughs> one rule. Type shit, right? And so the 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 main the way that this would be a problem, the- if they got lasers in space and they're able to shoot them, in in addition to their three D fucking like, hologram, like some people said happened in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. They shot the laser. That's what they say. That's what supposedly they say. Oprah set the fires. 
Have you heard about property that? Property values and shit. Yep. Yeah. Real estate shit. Damn, Oprah. Real that greasy shit. So this is what yeah. this is. I'm, big I'm, short. I'm correct in thinking it's it's like, because I also heard it's, there's a difference between Blue Beam and Blue Book. And one of them was like, they're going to project your religious figure in the sky. Like, if you believe in Christ, Christ, he is, came gonna, back. Christ is going to ascend that's gonna, from the skies. That, and you're going to believe that. That's tough in that, America, though. It's pretty or diverse. Mu, or Muhammad. For real. But or that's going to be... Not. They're all going to show up like the super friends. Supposedly. <laughs> that'd be dope. That's what they Supposedly, that's... Uh, <laughs> that's what su- they supposedly, what that is, that's when the one world religion happens, and then that's when the supposedly Antichrist happens. Yeah. Why were you trying to talk about that, by the way? What Project Bluebeam, well, because you can't talk about um, extraterrestrial or UFO sightings without bringing up Project Bluebeam, because that could be Project Bluebeam. If Project Bluebeam is real, this is how it starts, with a lot of sightings that are in plain sight. You know, a lot of people saw that, even what y'all recorded. What's funny is my nephew called me, and he was watching that, and then y'all, you text that, that yeah. video. So a lot of people saw that, and that's what I mean. Even the video, even the video, the video that I took of the thing that we see, which it appears as an orb, and it's orange, and it gets bigger, and then it splits apart and floats around, and at one point it turned into three, and it created a perfect equilateral tri- equilateral triangle, and it was just flying. It was it was beautiful, but it's a black manta. That could also be Project Bluebeam. It could be, and that would be the so government projecting things into the sky. But I don't think so, honestly. Me personally, whenever this happens and you're experiencing it, one of the distinct things about this experience is that it feels very natural. Like it looks real to the eye. Yeah, your first inclination it isn't this seems, is a projection. It's not that it's a projection, right? No, it's like, oh, this shit. This is real. It just seems like a star. It seems like something natural. It seems like a light... Seems very familiar. But, it doesn't seem. But we've ex- seen the drone shows that they do, right? Doesn't seem artificial. Not at mm. all, man. Not at all. You get uh, what I'm saying? It's a question. Even the way it moves, it looks, it looks like smooth. It's not choppy. It's hard to explain it what do you because mean? what I see, it it'll disappear and then it'll reappear, mm. and we're gonna see it tonight. I promise. What do you mean? Is it what do like you think? the movements? Like when it's nah, in the air, just like this. Like it's a. Uh, like a, and the reason I'm asking is because typically when you see something in the sky, the one that I see is choppy. Trajection. The one that I see, it's like oh, no, and it, it's a it wasn't angular. Motion. It was not like angular. It was, it's it moving everywhere. It just it didn't move everywhere, but it doesn't seem like something was in the sky. Like you're saying, it doesn't seem artificial. It hmm. it's it's like a firefly. It's very that's natural. the best way it's I can very, explain it's it. Very natural it's like feeling. a giant firefly. Have you ever seen fireflies? Yes. That's what it seems like. Yeah. Like God, a giant firefly. God, I hope it's aliens. Man, I really I tell Roy. So if it is aliens, what are we doing? <laughs> Nothing. I think we're trying to make contact. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. I tell Roy we've seen a ghost together. We've seen a UFO together. What's next? Sasquatch? Sasquatch. The Chupacabra? I was going to say. Hey, you, you know, know what's you weird? Know. How yesterday the full moon was out and I said <laughs> the werewolves are out and there's fucking stray dogs <laughs> fucking all around here. You know what I've been seeing? <laughs> I've been seeing deer in the city. Really? really? Yeah. I haven't seen it. I, I saw a mouse in the city. Well, like there. headed from where I live, <laughs> headed back this way towards Quaker. A fucking deer? Yeah, what? like no two. I've seen a few. What are, <laughs> they, what are they, white tails? <laughs> no, they're uh, they're mule deer. Mule deer. But they're bucks with big big racks on them. <laughs> but hey, pirate radio. Uh, well, we can keep time to wrap up. it up, baby. We can go to hour thirty. Is okay. it, are you on time? Like I just got said what there's like we went to Star Comics and I was like, which one would Brad like? Let me see. I clearly Mighty didn't, Thor. I didn't have money for the one that I wanted to get you, but I got you. Which that one? one? It was a Beatles one. Oh shit! Can you give me more? more? Mas cabron. You know I saw that one. That shit's expensive. One hundred twenty-five. Yeah. Bucks. Hell yeah. Damn. Dude, he had a fifteen hundred dollar fucking pot, uh, pot, uh, comet. It was the Sandman one, wasn't it? No, I don't remember. They which they one. have a, an amazing Spider Man yeah. number three. It's the first appearance of Sandman. I think it's three thousand dollars. And it was only a, like a four point five. Yeah. <laughs> if he was real, and he would have stole that shit. It was in a glass case. You would have broke the glass. Don't you do jujitsu? Don't you do jujitsu? Come on, man. What is all that skill for if you're not gonna fucking? There is no do tomorrow. some ninja shit, bruh. Here, give me that. What do you want me to throw give me, it? Give me. It. I was looking for someone. So. So y'all gonna hang out with us tomorrow? I'll try. 
I mean, you don't have to show for the dinner part. I mean, I don't have to do shit. I mean, no, like, yeah. I mean, like I said, <laughs> that's true. I mean, like, hey, I, like I said, wrong. we're gonna eat dinner and then hit, hit up the bar, probably play pool a little bit, then play like, yeah, the actual like ski ball and shit. I play pool. <laughs> I'm, I just want to play some pool, but I'll play some ski ball if I have to. I told Roy, I was like, "Fuck!" I used to go Roy to Copper for every birthday. It's like I haven't been in Copper for be a, a birthday in years. What the fuck did you say? Copper and Mr. Gaddy. Oh, I thought you said you'll smoke me at pool. I was like, no, you will not. I will smoke you at pool too. No, you will not, for sure. brother. Shark, I, pool shark. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty goddamn good at pool. You want to put some money on? Salute tomorrow. I don't have oh, a beer, or else I would. I wanted to say something. My beer's before empty. we end this pod. You know what's weird? It's you. like. <laughs> You, know, you asked bleep. Bro, you asked me what's weird, dog. Um, God damn it, what was I gonna say? You made me lose the train of thought. <laughs> uh, oh, that's what I was gonna say. Uh, weird ass dude. What's weird is like, I um, back t- to get into that. Like I, I try to live like by the, the truth and what's good in this world. And I and um, I think we can, all, especially you two, because y'all are parents. Like you understand, like you gotta go to work. You gotta take care of the fam. You gotta. <laughs> Take care of your business. So there's a lot of things like you don't have time for. And I was kind of what he was saying. I I just realized that like me and Bradley have seen a ghost. Like I can't deny the fact that I think we saw a fucking ghost. Where? It was like right here. It, it looked like, it a, like white, a It was like a white orb. Like a walking some, up. It was something weird. Recently. It, this was like a like a few last years, year. Like maybe last year. And we saw a UFO Saturday. Last year, yeah, song goes. Yeah, yeah. Hold so, on. Did y'all hear that? I did. But I don't know what it was. <laughs> I don't know what it was. You being serious? Did you fart? I was going to, but it was silent. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about that shit going on out there. My bad. But it's just weird. Like, now think about it. Like, you try to be a man of reason and shit. And yeah, can, strange things happen. Strange. You. Yeah. Because as much as I believe in this shit, like, I kind of take that approach, like, I'm going to do everything I can to disprove it. Right. But <laughs> these two things have happened in my life that I cannot fucking explain. Like, what the fuck? When is did it? things start getting weird? When the balloon showed up. It's always been... <laughs> but it, no, no, it's always been weird in this garage because we've heard things before. Okay. And we've experienced things before in here. And then we saw that. Like, it's always been weird. And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? So y'all were doing a podcast? Y'all were sitting here? No. Well, he was right there. Or, oh, the ghost! Yeah, we were. And I and I looked. It looked like someone walking up. Like I made a, a noticeable. Like, the fuck was that? And then I he looked at me, and then I said, "Did you see that?" <laughs> right. But and I've seen a ghost in post, like a shadowy figure in post before. So I don't. You, what, try, to, you try to give every reason why it's not real, especially when it happens. Yeah. What's, <laughs> what the fuck was that? What's weird about the UFO is I feel like every time me and Roy are just chilling in the back. Uh, we we were listening to music. We're talking about a bunch of just bullshit, but for some reason we weren't playing any music. We were quiet. We were just just like we sitting in silence. Hands. We would just and, watch the movie, and I was like, "Have drunk." Because we were we yeah. watched Jurassic Park, so I felt like we were thinking on it. But when y'all were holding hands, or y'all's fingers like shut this, the fuck or? up. No, I had my hand that. on his wiener. But no, but we 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 were talking about we, we were talking about Jurassic Park. How you know there's a lot of science shit. <laughs> That's kind of scary today to think about. Like, what are scientists doing behind Chris closed Bird. doors? Yeah. Anyways, technology. But, Genetic but what I'm saying, like, we were kind of already like freaked out, and um, I was like staring off in the space, like that way, just sitting down. And from what I remember, it wasn't like it flew into my sight; it just appeared. Yeah. And I remember as soon as it appeared, I was like. Roy, what the fuck is that? And we both got up like instantly. Like, yeah, like we knew. Like Dude. Yeah. I thought it was an animal at first. Like, but see, the things that I see, that's how it happens too. It just appears. It, it just. Yeah. It, it's like a perfect orb. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It just like appeared. But there's cloudiness around it, right? Like yeah. there's a fog around it. It was a fog because that's what I tell them. Like, look at the other thing. Everything's look, clear. We looked at the moon. There was no clouds. There's a fog around it. You can see it. the spots on the moon. Yeah. We, you can see. Uh, Mars or whatever planets over here right now, like it was clear. And this is this might be fantasy, but we talked about it on this podcast with Epi yesterday, and I was like, well, we didn't record, and what I didn't say it was like later on, there was like a black thing chilling above, or like 
What? In the sky. Did you see yeah. it? It was just a black thing. Because like, like, the clouds, you could tell were the clouds. Was it a it big like, black thing? It was just like a... black. It was like a... Have you seen Nope? Yeah. It was just like a Nope cloud. I was asking him. No, really. Oh, okay. It was just like a single cloud. Just it was just chilling. Like we didn't we didn't they record moved. that. Then no, moved. it was just chilling. Was up just... There. We we're like, oh. I and didn't then, say, we didn't say nothing about it. And then I showed y'all when I I went out jogging the other night and I saw like a perfect uh, triangle. Like it, I don't know, it was just weird. Like yeah, it was the was... moon reflection and the clouds, but I just thought it was weird how it was like perfect. Like it almost looked like the all seeing eye. By yeah. Oh yeah! By God, yeah. And truthfully, I wish this shit was not real, but it is. Like we we seen it, it was weird. Yeah, and I don't know, man. I say that to say I, it's just gonna get weirder. To my be boy. a fool, so get be, used to it, right? To be a fool would be pretty nice, because you know people who are just ignorant and just live life. We gotta embrace the weirdness. Yeah, Can we have imagine w- though just living a carefree, ignorant life. You wouldn't no, give a fuck about you. shit. Nah, fuck that. Nah, I mean, it would suck. We, <laughs> it would suck. We had a werewolf show Being up a last shit. night. A skinwalker. Yep. Skinwalker came in here. Two of them. They just walked in and I scared them. I was like, dog. <laughs> yeah, a little puppy came in. Yeah. Shout out to him. Whoever that Shout was. Shout out to that dog. That, that dog. dog. I see why it came because you got bulls over here. Yeah, for the cats. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. No, there's some I just thought, things going on. Like I said, I was like, man, what what's next? What are we going to see Look up, next? people. Look up at the sky at night. At the very least, you might see some shooting stars. I really love seeing shooting stars. I see a handful. I've of seen them. some that last really long and they turn green and all you kinds of colors. Wish. I do make a wish. Oh yeah, hell yeah, I do. Honestly though, I, I feel like we might have seen two other UFOs. There was one night we were chilling out here. Jen was there, and Roy said, "What are you looking at, Brad?" I said, "I've never seen two planes fly that close to each other. Like they were like this part." And that same night, Dave had posted a video of what well, like two UFOs like crossing paths. Yeah, and it was that same night. It's like, well, fuck, we saw the same shit too, right? What was that? Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. I did. That was that, a bell. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore it. <laughs> that was a bell, dinner bell. The bells, the hounds of hell, as we call it. Is that what it is? Dude, us. that was crazy, bro. What knock, was it? Knock, knock, knocking on I told him. I told him earlier, like, we got to sage this garage because it's fucking Well, weird. honestly, garage, look, huh? think about all the different types of people that have been in this garage. Also, Dude, what a weird you got to also think that this is central Lubbock. So, like, this is where Lubbock started. This is old Lubbock. This is old Lubbock. These houses have uh, been here since, like, the 50s. And then the Comanches were here murdering motherfuckers <laughs> here, too. So yeah. ain't no telling what the fuck. Buffalo was roaming through here, too. There could there could be a Buffalo buried There used to be an airport on 34. Did you know that? Mm-mm. There used to be an airport on, right here on 34th and Quaker. There used to be an airport way back in the day. My my grandpa says he remembers a Lubbock in it on 34th Street. It's like, fuck. But he's 92. Is that that picture of Ralph's where it's, like, dirt all around that yeah. area? Yeah. Damn. What a weird time. I hope it gets weirder. Like you're this saying. is nothing out here, man. It's but like, just think, d- Swag, do you believe in, like, we're not in the past or the present or future? Everything that's ha- ever happened is this happening now, now yeah. or in the future, it's all... It's not linear. One, yeah. it's just different frequencies. Yeah, eternity is just continuous. There's no tomorrow, bro. You, you know what's weird about that? I I've, I found out, because um, I was doing a presentation about Wi-Fi, and apparently like it uses radio waves to like connect the devices. But then I looked up some stuff about radio waves. Apparently everything that's ever been broadcasted on the radio, those frequencies travel forever, forever. into space. Yeah. So if you like go like light years away and have if you have a radio on you, you can listen to whatever the was history. playing on that radio. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's fucking weird. That was pretty cool. I didn't know it went that far. It, it's it's, just, a, it's continu- a law of motion, right? So think of any. Real, like, so think once of you move at a range. It's, the radio it's, station it's, changes. It's law. Oh, he's talking motions. about the wave. He's saying the but wave. But the wave goes. it continues forever. So if you were receiving it out there, an in, object in the stay beyond, in motion unless acted upon. In theory, you could you could transmit that frequency and you listen could catch to a 1920s radio. radio, baby. You could yeah, catch, yeah, you could catch a paper space everywhere. Yeah. So just think, there's probably an alien right now, just barely in the frequency of. The Rolling Stones radio Gang, debut. Uh, Alex Shout Jones fucking Gang. ranting on radio. Like, yeah. who knows what's out there? Oh, they're catching this. 
We come in peace. <laughs> I wonder how weird we sound speaking English. This just sounds like jibber jabber to them. Probably like Charlie Brown. Do you ever think about that? Sometimes I'll talk. I'll talk. I'll say something to somebody else, and I'll be like, "It's so weird how we just make these fucking noises with yeah. our face." That's what separates us from the animals. Yeah, it's our ability. It's not to, the puzzle, our abilities to that's anticipate what, like, the future. Structure like society is our ability to Language. speak and structure words together. It's funny, like what we talked about earlier, where you hear like jibber jabber, it's bra 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 LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> there are some people that just speak jibber jabber. God bless you. <laughs> Including us, Amen. not me, not me. I make bro. Sense. We just talking crazy. <laughs> Muhammad Ali, the champ is here. Happy birthday! The birthday, champ bro. is here. Oh boys, this has been a fun <laughs> radio. Uh, Good time. I genuinely, genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, believe, want to believe in aliens and hope they're fucking real. God damn, I hope they're fucking real. You want to believe in God? I do. Yeah. I do. I. They work for God. The all seeing eye, right? Whatever the case may be. So do I, baby. There has to be so a bigger. I think people need some of that perspective. Or in their it's Thor. It's Thor. The God of Thunder. Dun, Guys, dun, Pirate dun, Radio. Dun, dun, dun. We'll see y'all next time. I Check guess. us out. Season three, Lords of Film. Patreon.com slash make this. Hey, we can end it on that. There you go. Play it for a minute. We'll do some real war mode type shit and end it on a song. I love you guys.